Hey guys, it's Rose and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another what I ate in a day video. Today I'm gonna show you guys everything I am eating, focusing on weight loss friendly, healthy, delicious, high protein recipes. And I'm also going to talk to you about my fitness routine, my new fitness routine and how I got back into fitness thanks to today's sponsor, which is Copilot. I feel like at the end of last year, I kind of stopped focusing on my fitness. I was, you know, enjoying the holidays, if you will. I hadn't gone to the gym in a very long time. I drink a lot and I was eating a lot of delicious food. No regrets, no regrets. Of course, it was the holidays, okay? You gotta have a little fun. But I was really, really, really ready to get back into a healthy routine and a healthy lifestyle. And I actually wanted to start working out again and just get back into fitness. So in the beginning of this year, I actually started using Copilot. So Copilot, you guys, is literally a game changer. It is an affordable fitness coach app which gives you personalized and customized workouts tailored to you. So basically, Basically, you get matched with a coach that you have one-on-one -on -one contact with, a real person, you guys, a person that you can actually have calls with, you can actually chat with over the app, and you can contact them literally on a daily basis, and they give you customized workout programs that you can do with a lot of flexibility and whatever fits your lifestyle and your goals. So I got matched with Leslie, who is my lovely and very, very sweet coach, and she and I basically had a one-on-one -on -one call where we discussed kind of what my goals are and what my lifestyle style is like, what sort of workouts I like, what I don't like. And then from there, she started sending me workouts that were tailored to me. Yes. Okay. So it's literally like having a personal trainer, but a lot more affordable. Yes, my friends. So we're going to be doing a workout today. We're also going to be eating some delicious, healthy food. So join me on my fitness journey. Okay. For breakfast, I decided to make my chickpea tuna salad. This is one of my favorite things to make. So the recipe is linked down below, but basically I just took some red onion and chickpeas and then I just processed it in the food processor to just kind of mash everything up and also dice up the red onion. I usually also like to add celery in there as well, but I didn't have celery. And then all I do is just add some vegan mayo, some Dijon mustard, salt, garlic powder, kelp powder, and then you simply mix it up and it is is ready for you to eat. This is one of those classic vegan recipes that I'm making over and over and over again because it's so good. It's affordable, it's accessible, it's high in protein, versatile, and it is so delicious. So I'm making more than one serving, so I just made it straight into my Tupperware so I can save the rest for later. And I'm also cutting up a quarter of an avocado into thin slices because I wanted to make something special. I decided to wrap the chickpea salad in rice paper. Yes. So I am basically making chickpea salad rice paper wraps. Yes. <laughs> I don't know what to call this. But basically, I made something similar to this recently and I loved it. And I just love the idea of wrapping everything in rice paper because it's so tasty. So I thought, hey, why not do this? This. So I'm just taking some rice paper and adding some avocado slices and I just added a little bit of salt on top of that and then just add however much chickpea salad and then I just wrap it up kind of like I was making like a bit of a dumpling situation. So I just start from the bottom, fold the sides and then just fold the top and then that way we have a little wrap situation. And you can honestly just enjoy it like this. It's ready to eat and I'm sure it's very delicious, but I wanted to pan fry it with a tiny bit of oil just because I really like it when it gets slightly crispy. It's almost like having a healthy dumpling, yes. And I decided to dip mine with a little bit of sweet chili sauce and some soy sauce. So I have that there. And there you go. Look how cute my little chickpea salad dumplings are. I know. And then I'm having a side of blueberries with that. And I know this is not a very conventional breakfast, but I'm not one to be very conventional. Uh-huh. And this was so good. Highly recommend. Wrap everything in rice paper. Ooh. That. First, I'm going to dip it in soy sauce. Mm. 
After breakfast, I did some work and I actually used my treadmill so I could get some steps in while I was doing work. And I don't know why I only recently thought to use this with my adjustable table as a standing treadmill desk. But now almost every day I'm using this to get some more steps in whenever I'm busy with a lot of work to do. So that's what I did. So I got a lot of work done and then it is time to head to the gym. Nothing beats walking outside guys, especially when the sun is shining. And one of the biggest things that I try to do and incorporate is different types of fitness and movement into my life so that I could have a more holistic sort of approach to fitness. So when I get to the gym, I simply look at the workout my coach has made for me. And today's workout is going to be an upper body day. I wanna just kind of focus on and do more like an upper body with a little bit of lower body focus and then like a total lower body. One really cool feature of Copilot is that it actually connects to Apple Watches so that you don't have to keep looking at your phone. Your Apple Watch can just do the guiding of the workout for you, but also you don't need to have an Apple Watch. So if you don't have one, that's not a problem at all. But if you have one, it's a really handy tool to have. And once you get the workout started, the app will just kind of guide you through the workout and your coach actually talks to you and tells you, you know, what's coming up next, how many reps. You can see the different workouts and there's always a demonstration of each one. And your coach can also leave you a little tip to guide you along the way and when it connects to the apple watch it's kind of cool but also like whoa <laughs> because the watch can actually track your range of motion if one of your exercises your range of motion was off your coach can see it for example my coach noticed that my range of motion was off for tricep extensions and so she told me to not overextend at the top of that movement i'm like whoa are you are you watching me like what's going on right now i'm doing two strength workouts a week and i think i may start doing three a week soon depending on how i feel but right now two is working out really well for me and at the end of the workout copilot always asks you how the workout was and i can say if it was too easy too hard or just right and i can also leave some feedback for my coach as well so that you know if there was something that i wanted more of or less of or something was too difficult whatever it was you can leave the feedback straight on the app and your coach will get that information right away Way. and yeah there you go that was my main workout for the day like I mentioned at the end of last year, I had not worked out for a very long time at the gym. I always do a lot of walking. That's generally what I do, but I really wanted to add in some strength and other things. But in the beginning of the year, I was like, okay, listen, I am not ready to go to the gym just yet. And she actually made me home workouts in the beginning. And then as I started you know, getting used to working out on a regular basis, I actually told her, I was like, you know what? I think I'm ready to get to the gym and start lifting some heavier weights. So then she started giving me workouts that were tailored to the gym. So obviously adding in some equipment and things like that. Tell me more about what is available to you at the gym. I basically have everything. Yeah, whatever you want to throw at me, I'll try. I believe the best way to incorporate healthy habits into your life is to take small steps. I feel like this is one of the biggest mistakes a lot of people make. They try to do too much all at once, which makes them resent the process because it's overwhelming and too difficult. Copilot does a really great job at meeting you where you're at and helping you take smaller steps gradually for sustainable changes. All right, for lunch, I'm gonna make these Korean spicy cold noodles. And I'm using a high protein buckwheat pasta. You can use any sort of noodles or pasta that you have. I usually like to use buckwheat or soba noodles or like a Korean wheat noodle. This is what I have, so I'm gonna use the high protein noodles. So while this is cooking, I like to chop up veggies. And I'm gonna make two servings, so I have lunch for tomorrow. You can use whatever fresh veggies of your choice. Here are the veggies. I've got lettuce, two types of bell pepper, baby bok choy, and some red onion. All these are optional. So when I'm cooking the noodles, I'm also gonna throw in some frozen edamame beans for that protein. All right, so while your noodles are cooking, you can mix together the sauce. We're gonna start with gochujang. This is Korean red pepper paste. Mm. White vinegar or whatever vinegar you have. Sugar or maple syrup, some kind of syrup, garlic powder. Or you can actually use minced garlic. I'm lazy. Toasted sesame oil and soy sauce. And then just mix it. This is a spicy recipe, guys. There's our sauce. Once the noodles are done cooking, rinse it thoroughly in cold water until the noodles are completely cold. I made two servings, so I'm just gonna save the rest. And then you can add that sauce. Maybe add a tablespoon at a time just to make sure that you're not overdoing the sauce. You can also add the veggies in and mix it all together. 
Mm, I'm so excited. Lots of veggies. It's like almost like a salad, like a noodle salad. And then you can just top it with some toasted sesame seeds. This part is optional. And I love to eat this with vegan kimchi. I have a recipe on my YouTube channel for my mom's kimchi recipe. So definitely check that out. And here it is guys. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I've also been trying to drink lots of water. This is another thing that I wanted to bring back into my life. I actually told my coach, I was like, can we add some kind of like water intake logging system? Because I want to keep myself accountable and I want you to keep me accountable to drink lots of water. So I actually told her I wanted to try and drink four liters of water a day, AKA around a gallon. So she added that for me. And every day I just check it off whenever I'm done like a liter. And I have been hitting my goal almost every single day. If not hitting it, I was very close to hitting it every day. So either way, I'm drinking lots of water, which is obviously something else I wanted to implement back into my life. And now it is dinner time and I was pretty tired. I'd been working a lot, did my workout and everything. So I decided to make something very simple and easy. One of my absolute go-to recipes. It literally takes like two minutes. All you have to do is cut up some extra soft, soft or silken tofu. I'm using extra soft tofu, which I got at the Korean supermarket. Cut that up however you'd like. And then you just mix together the sauce, which is so simple. It's just soy sauce, gochukaru, which is Korean red pepper flakes, toasted sesame oil, some sort of sweetener you can use maple syrup or agave nectar and then just mix that well and then i like to add a lot of green onions for this so i like to add it in the sauce as well as on top of the tofu at the very end so i save a few green onions uh, for later but i mix some into the sauce and then you just pour the sauce onto the tofu and then you just top everything with some toasted sesame seeds if you have any and then the rest of the green onions and that is literally it i eat this with rice you can keep this in the fridge for i don't know up to three four days depending on your fridge it's so so good but of course I had to have some veggies as well because you know, I'm trying to eat healthy. So I also cut up some Korean zucchini. Korean zucchini is slightly different, but it's kind of the same, but it's slightly different. It's a bit bigger, wider. I think it's a bit softer. I'm pan frying some Korean zucchini and also some mushrooms. Here's my dinner. Oh my God, I'm so excited. This looks like I put in a lot of effort, but I really, really did not. So I made my cold Korean soft tofu. This is like literally one of my favorite things to make, especially when I'm just so lazy. I can make this so quickly and I love eating it with rice. Oh my God, it's so good. And then I have a plate of rice with some pan fried mushrooms that I needed to use up and also some pan fried Korean zucchini. And I seasoned both of them with garlic salt. And then I'm also gonna eat some roasted seaweed with the rice and the tofu. They all go well together. And then of course I got some kimchi on the side. Oh my God, I'm so excited. It's gonna be so good. Once I finished dinner, I took my vitamins and apparently I thought the bottle was open. <laughs> Anyways, I finished my water intake for the day and then I chilled for a bit on the couch because I was exhausted. I actually feel like Copilot is literally the perfect thing that I've been looking for because I've thought about getting a personal trainer to keep me accountable to, you know, up my workout game. The biggest hurdle for me is that it is so expensive, okay? Copilot is just so much more affordable and you still get that one-on-one -on -one experience. You get the one-on-one -on -one calls, you get to message them basically daily, they keep you accountable, and it's also a lot more flexible. If I have a workout on that day that my coach assigned me, I can go any time of day. I don't have to show up at a specific time in case something else comes up, such as life, things come up. So guys, Copilot might be the best way to reach your fitness goals. I highly, highly recommend it. So if you are interested in trying a Copilot, click the link below and you can get 14 days free with your own health and fitness coach. And actually, fun fact, over 75% of Copilot clients continue to work out after 100 days, which means Copilot users are nine times more successful at sticking to their goals. So this is such a good accountability program. So guys, once again, what are you waiting for? The link is down below. You can get 14 days free. Thank you so much to Copilot for sponsoring today's video. And guys, that's pretty much it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a big 
thumbs up. Let me know down below if you have any fitness goals yourself and how you've been doing this new year. Have you been working on your fitness or maybe something else? Let me know down below. And thank you so much for watching, you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!